tutorial will demonstrate how to bypass firewalls using SSH tunneling. The first thing you'll need to do is set up an account with SSH access. There are many pay and free SSH providers listed in the DMOS directory. The next thing you'll need to do is download PuTTY. PuTTY is an open source SSH client for Windows. Once you've downloaded it, execute it and you'll be sent to the configuration page. Here we'll enter in the host name for the server that we can set up our SSH access with. We're going to be using our own server, but you would use the server that you set up your account with. Make sure that SSH is selected using port 22. And under the SSH options, select tunnels. Here's where we're going to go ahead and set up our tunnel. We'll use port 8080 and click dynamic. Once we've configured it, we'll click add to make sure that it's added to the forwarded port list. Once this is done, click open and you will be brought to a terminal window that requires you to log in. Enter in your login information and you have successfully connected to your account and established the tunnel. Now that that's done, we can minimize that window and demonstrate how to use the configuration. We'll go ahead and open up Internet Explorer. Here we're just at the main page. We'll demonstrate with Wireshark. Currently Wireshark has no packets captured. We'll start a packet capture. We'll go to Google. We'll hit refresh. And here you can see a bunch of HTTP connections that has information about the browser listed and the website that we're going to. and the images that we're looking at. We'll go ahead and stop that. Now we will configure Internet Explorer to use our SSH connection. Under Connections, go to LAN Settings, click Use a Proxy, and click Advanced. Under the SOX application, you will click, you will type localhost, and you will type in port 8080. Click OK and OK to save the settings. Now we're going to go back to Wireshark and start a new packet capture. This time when we refresh Google we see a bunch of SSH connections. As you can see you no longer have the information listed of where you went or what was being sent from the server to the client. 